Maybe you want to journal about your favorite artist like I have done. So not only is doing washi tape swatches one, a very quick way to fill up your six ring binder. Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share 10 ways on how to fill up your six ring binder. So be sure to keep watching and let's get started. So just so you guys know, this list is going to be broken down into three different groups. So the first group that I wanted to talk about is the creative ways that you can fill up your six ring binder so you can start this process off by doing washi tape swatches so not only is doing washi tape swatches one a very quick way to fill up your six ring binder but also you get to see the different designs that are on different washi tape rolls so much similar to doing washi tape swatches you can also do swatches of different pens or highlighters that you have so doing this not only helps you see the different color combinations or the different hues that you have in a set but it also helps you to see the different color combinations that you may have among Amongst different brands. So the next creative way you can fill up your six string binder is by using positive affirmations or your favorite quotes in them. So not only does this increase your chances of using positive self-talk, but this also is a great way to be able to carry around your different affirmations or quotes that you like and that you can use and speak over yourself daily. So the next group that I wanted to talk with you guys about is the traditional ways that you can fill up your six string binder. So I wanted to start this group off by mentioning a journal prompts. So if you see any of my previous videos where I talk about different journal prompts either for self-growth, self-discovery, or mental health, completing these journal prompts in your six ring binder is a great way to fill up the pages and it also helps you if you want to just go back and see okay what did I say for a specific prompt on a specific subject. So the next way you can fill up your six ring binder in a traditional way is by using it as a diary. So I know y'all y'all probably gonna want to keep this in like a cute little personal space because it's your business and you don't want to by in it however if you don't mind just journaling about your feelings not really looking more so into the aesthetic of it or even just okay I have to do this in the prompt format you don't have to do it that way you can literally just write down how you feel how your day went how you hope that your day is going to go or what you think about future plans for yourself so the next traditional way is a brain dump so say you have a lot on your mind especially at night I know that's when I have everything on my mind y'all so you can literally just jot down every single thought every single feeling just to help yourself to declutter your mind so the next idea in this category is using a journal with me theme in order to fill up your six ring binder so maybe you want to journal about your favorite artist like I have done or maybe you want to journal about a special day like I did a birthday spread in my six ring binder whatever you want to do that really encourages you that really helps you that inspires you you are able to do that through a journal with me now granted this isn't the only way to talk about your favorite artist or a special day that you have. However, this is another traditional way that you can use to fill up your six ring binder. So next up are the organizational type of ways that you can fill up your six ring binder. So I wanted to start this group off by talking about creating a to-do list in your six ring of binder. So if you literally just want to take a page out, say you're going grocery shopping, or you just want to list the different tasks that you have to complete in a day, you can literally do that in your six ring of binder. You can make cute little circles next to the list, or you can make cute little boxes or whatever shape you want to use and then you can check them off as you go. So the next idea of filling up your six ring binder is by using a planner or calendar style of page. So if you literally just want to do two pages or if you want to make it like weekly and you want to use multiple pages in your six ring binder for that you can definitely do a calendar or planning style of page to help you fill up your six ring binder. And then the next way you can use your six ring binder is for notes. So say you're taking a seminar or say Say you're taking different classes you can actually use your six ring binder to write notes in them and I've actually had someone comments about using their six ring binder for class and I thought oh my gosh what a great idea so if you literally want to have different six ring binders for different subjects and then y'all can even decorate them later on at a different time if you want by adding stickers or washi tape or any other different deco items so kittens these are just some of the many ways that you can fill up your six ring binder so be sure to comment below one way that you like to fill up your six ring binder i love you all so much and thank you guys for watching if you all want any more six ring binder content you can either check out my six ring binder playlist or my ring binder playlist i love you all so much again and i'll see you guys next week adios kittens